Hey, so I wanted to do a video response to a video by Wheat Waffles. The video um, is from like three weeks ago and it is entitled uh, 40 Differences in Treatment Between Sub 5, Normie, and Chad. And it is super interesting. He's talking about uh, the differences according to look theory and how men based on their appearance are going to be treated in the dating market and it's really interesting one normies are in the four to six out of ten range of looks okay so what he has here is he has it broken down into three categories he has the i'm sorry physiognomy is a thing he has the sub fives over here so um, you can see the pictures that he is using as examples there are not your most attractive men. Then he has the normie. This is a four to a six out of a 10. And you can see the pictures he's using for um, your normie men. And then he has the chads. Okay, so he's breaking this down based on, um, I guess what you could call lookism. And it's interesting, especially in the context of like um, PUA, uh, for people who don't know what that is, it's pickup artistry in game. Because there are a lot of, I guess, red pill channels out there that try to tell men, all you have to do is learn game and pick pick up artist skills, PUA skills, and you'll be able to get like hot women or you'll be able to get women at all, like in general. And that's not necessarily true. Like if we're being honest, right? And I will speak from a woman's perspective. Um, obviously not all women think this way, but if we want to talk about modern women, not traditional women, but the, how modern women think and operate, yeah, lookism is definitely a thing. Um, so, you know, you can learn game, you can learn PUA skills, but you're like, you're still stuck with like how you look, right? Like, you know, oh, just get better genetics, bro. Like, come on, man, like go to the gym, work out, work on yourself. Like you can only do that so much. Like that can't, yes, that can help, um, but, and I will, I might bring up something called Mogged By. There's an Instagram page, if y'all have not seen this, it's called Mogged By on Instagram. And it shows pictures of like people just getting fucking mogged, you know, straight up dominated by like tens and they are clearly not tens. And when you look at them in the same picture, they're invisible like because the other person is so much more attractive it renders the person they're mogging like totally invisible and so unfortunately this is a reality that i think that men need to understand a lot of people will say that wheat waffles is black pilled um and uh you know that that's not helpful and that you know you want to be more in the red pill I don't think that wheat waffles is totally black pilled. And I don't, I mean, I would say I am black pilled. I'd put myself in the black pill category. I don't think, I think that it's more like operating with a realistic framework. So let's listen to what he has to say about the sub, the sub fives, bless their hearts, the normies and the chads. And are considered average. Chads are a seven and above and are considered highly attractive. Sub fives are a three or below and considered unattractive. Oof. And I mean, come on, just look at the images there. Let's be honest, guys. Let's be honest. You know, this is pretty accurate as a as a breakdown of description based on like lookism and lookism is a thing. I mean, there are scientific studies that show people are more um, likely to believe something if it, an attractive person is saying it. Like they've done studies that have proven this 100%. People who are more attractive are more likely to be believed when they're saying the same thing as somebody else that is less attractive. So um, right off the bat, I think that this is correct. And by the way, I will have a link to this video and Wheat Waffles channel in the video description. So if you wanna check out some of his other content, 
feel free to do so. I think that there is some very valuable stuff, although I will say, I do think that Wheat Waffles is a young man that is incredibly black-pilled, and based on his experience, and it's not all women, but with modern women, young women, oof, I can understand where he's coming from. Two, normies typically experience neutral treatment from women. Chads receive positive feedback, and sub fives are met with repulsion. Yes, um, just based on the way that they look. It, uh, if you're not getting to know these men, right? If you are a woman and you come into a contact with a sub five, which is a three or below, and you saw what they look like, you tend to be repulsed by them. That is true. Like there's a feeling of disgust. I mean, I'm just being honest here, guys. I'm not trying to be mean. Um, I'm just trying to speak from what I understand of, of female psychology and my own personal experiences as a woman. Now, as far as normie men, it's initially you will be met like sort of neutrally like that. Um, however, if she gets to know you and you have other things going on, that could change and she could totally fall in love with you. And the thing for women, and this is not... I don't think that men are like this, but this is a female trait, and I know this because I've personally experienced it. You can meet a normie dude, and at first, be when you see him go, oh, okay, like, he's not that hot, you know, but as you get to know his personality and things about him, um, he might become physically more attractive to you. I don't know if this is women's brains tricking us, but I have experienced this where my first impression of a guy, when I looked at him, was like, oh, he's cute. You know, it wasn't like, oh my God, he's so hot. But, but as you get to know the person's personality, and if you have a lot in common, then all of a sudden you're like, Oh my god, I'm so in love with him. I love him so much. Like, I understand how women are. So I don't know if this is something that happens for men. And maybe this is something that will make um, men feel better about, like, women. That there are women who can totally fall in love with a normie dude that does not have to be super wealthy or anything like that. It depends on what that woman finds attractive and then the chad this is 100 percent true an attractive man is far more likely to get female attention and to be met with a positive reaction uh, than a sub five let's just be honest three normies get rejected the majority of the time they show interest in a girl sub fives always get rejected Chads get accepted a lot and in fact sometimes have women reaching out to them. 100% true. Yes. Sub fives are basically going to be rejected right off the bat. Um, the normies are going to be um, rejected. I would say maybe 60-40, okay, depending on how they're approaching women. Like, is it a cold approach or are you getting to know her? Um, but if it's a cold approach, then this might be correct. I mean, just thinking of how superficial most women are, um, yeah, <laughs> and this is true uh, with the chat getting um, accepted and... Um, basically having women like approaching him. This is true. Women will uh, go after a man that they find incredibly attractive, like a, a, a Chad. Yeah, women will totally chase him, 100%. Four, when men ask women about their looks, normies will typically be told phrases like, you're fine and there's nothing wrong with you. Meanwhile, Chads will be told, you're really attractive. Who's the lucky lady? Then sub fives are told, one day you'll find the right person and make her really happy. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh at this, but this is so true. I mean, it's like he really understands <laughs> how women think, I guess. But yes, this is totally true. The threes and below, this is a soft way of saying 
a soft way of saying like, oh, maybe you'll make a girl happy one day, you know, if you like get enough money or something and can afford to buy one. <laughs> oh boy. The normies. Oh yeah. Like there's, there's totally nothing wrong with you, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and then the Chad, like, oh my gosh, you're so cute. You're so hot. Yeah, who's the lucky lady? Oh, you probably have a girlfriend. Like, this is... The, yes, this is accurate. Five. According to my Fiverr face rating data, 77% of men are classed as normies. The bottom 14% are classed as sub-fives, while just the top 9% of men fall into the Chad category. Six. Normies can overcome rejections if he finds a woman who has a specific type. For sub fives, there is yes. no such thing as types as they are too unattractive. True. As for chads, most girls will unknowingly have a type that resembles a chad and wrongly assume their preference is unique when in reality it is the man they are attracted to and not the type. Exactly. This <laughs> is so true. Yes, exactly. And this is really what I was saying. What he's saying here about the normie type, like if there's a if the girl has a type of guy she likes or after getting to know them and think like if they meet that criteria, yeah, that guy, the normie definitely has a chance and she might become totally in love with him in the way she would have been like a Chad and she'll treat him that way as well. Like, yeah, you know, be totally like devoted to him. But this is true. Seven. Another way normies can overcome rejections is by gym maxing. In other words, building a highly aesthetic body. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. chads can still excel in dating with or without the gym. Then for sub fives, going to the gym has little to no impact as it is seen as compensating. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I mean, come on. Just look at the, the sub five dude here. It don't matter what that body looks like. When you see that face, nope, there is no arousal, you know, for the normie. I mean, that dude looks pre pretty hot. You know, this is true. If you gym max, maybe you don't have the best genetics. Maybe you don't have the best face, but you can, you can, there's um, room for improvement, right? And I would say the same thing goes for women that are like uh, five or six like myself. You can exercise, you can eat right, you can take care of yourself, you know, and you can maybe um, have a personality or something, you know, like you have to have something else going for you. But this is true. The Chad here um, on the, the right, he doesn't have to have a physique like this guy in the middle in order to be considered super attractive. Um, I think that's interesting because he's got such a beautiful face going on. <laughs> that's, yes, I, I would say all of this is true. Eight. Height is a big factor and can change the category you're in. For example, a Chad who is 5'6 is roughly equivalent to an average height normie who is also near the same level to a 6'4 sub 5. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes. Um, I would say height is important to some women, maybe not all women, but just look at the pictures here, right? Like, look at these three dudes, and I mean, just look at the short dude with the backpack, like, you know, uh, you don't have to be super tall. Uh, I know a lot of girls say, like, oh, you must be six foot tall or whatever. I don't think that that's true. I think you could be even five foot seven five six five seven but you know you gotta have something else going on you, you gotta have a nice face decent body and you have to have a personality to go with it you gotta have something uh to offer nine when it comes to dating apps normies can expect to get anywhere from one to three matches per day chads will get 10 plus sub fives will get none besides the occasional scam bot or instagram clout chaser 10. If a normie tells a joke, it will be laughed at by girls only if it is funny. Meanwhile, for sub fives, all of their jokes will be seen as weird or creepy. <laughs> then for chads, 
their jokes will be voluntarily laughed at by women, no matter how bad or offensive it is. Yes, I'm just like being real. Yes, 100% true. Yes, um, if you've ever seen creepy dudes that look disgusting and they're gross, you know, like these overweight, uh, they look like they don't bathe or, or like perhaps they have some kind of like genetic defect. Um, if they make jokes and stuff, like women are just like, oh, you know, with the normie guys, if they have a really good, if they're charming and they have a good sense of humor, yes, women will find that attractive and they will like that. Um, and this is true though for the Chad. The Chad can make a stupid joke that isn't even funny or clever, and if a woman's attracted to him, she'll still she'll still gonna laugh. Eleven. Normies often have a place in women's lives as being used for attention. For Chads, the roles are reversed and women are competing for his attention. Then for sub fives, they don't even have a place in these games as women don't want to be associated with them. <laughs> They're invisible to women. I'm sorry, but it's true. Um, and this is a very, the way that he's describing this is, it, let's be honest, this is true. For the normie man, um, yeah, women use men for attention and validation. They love male attention and validation. And I'm sure men love female attention and validation as well. But women seem to have an addiction to this kind of shit. But as far as the chads, they're, yeah, they're gonna have multiple girls, like, in their DMs and shit. Like, this is, he's right. Like, this is reality. Um, if that's mean or offensive, oh well. It, it, I mean, it's true. He's telling the truth. 12. When a man approaches a woman, the most common rejection type for normies are soft rejections. For example, sorry, I have a boyfriend. Sub fives too will get a lot of these soft rejections, but will also experience the occasional hard rejection, such as move along creep before I call security. Lastly, for Chad's rejections aren't as regular, they'll get accepted a lot and in fact can sometimes have women approaching them. To put it more simply, Chad's get accepted by women, normies get friend zoned by women, <laughs> sub fives get harshly rejected by women. Yes, this, this is all true. I don't even have to add any more to it because I know, like from being a woman, I know that this is the truth. 14. A common feature of chads is their sharp jawline. A jawline that is square with good definition. Most normies have average looking or rounded jawlines. Sub fives typically have recessed and asymmetrical jawlines. 15. Another common feature of chads is a piercing eye area, commonly referred to as hunter eyes. Normies like have mediocre looking eyes. Mm. Sub fives have large protruding eyes, commonly known as prey eyes. 16. Normies are in the most subjective range oh of God. looks. For example, if women had to rate this man, they'd likely be opinions Five. as low as three and as high as seven. Meanwhile, mm -hmm, this man true. will almost it's always subjective. get rated a two or three. Yeah. And this Chad will almost always get no. an eight, nine, or no. ten. Um, I actually, I disagree with that. I don't think that that Chad... Uh, is a is Chad. no 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 I would call that dude a six or a seven he's got a weird like I don't like his elf ears you know and there's just something weird about the hair going on there uh that guy is not appealing to me I would actually go for it. if we're looking at these three men I would pick the normie here he looks more normal to me like I there's just something creepy about this dude that he's using as a Chad, where I would not rate that guy as an 8, 9, or a 10. I'd rate him as, like, maybe a 7, and I still would never want to have sex with that creature. It's creepy looking. There's something weird about him. We'll almost always get an 8, 9, or 10. 17. When it comes to physical touch, women will feel uneased and awkward when playfully touched by normies. In contrast, for chads, women will actually look for excuses to touch him. Then, for sub fives, any physical contact will be seen You're as horrifying. <laughs> Just take a look at this video. So true. <laughs> a 
18. Normies will often need to get into a relationship with a woman, in other words, give his commitment, in order to be physically involved with her. For chads, this is not necessary, True. as they can be intimate with women with no formal relationship yes. involved. It can be That's as easy true. as arranging FWB or asking a woman to come over from a dating app. Then, That's true. as for sub fives, neither of these will work for them as they can't obtain any form of relationship with women. Yeah, it's. Th I'm sorry, but this is true. Like, especially for dating apps, that shit is rough, especially for men. Um, I don't think women understand what dating apps are like for men, but for for women, like. They'll get even chads, like, dep even if they're, like, a five or a six, they'll still get chads that are willing to, like, swipe right on them because, you know, let's be honest, they, they don't fucking care, right? Like, they're less picky than women. But women are so fucking picky, and they're so looks-based. Like, lookisms with women is real. It's a fucking real thing. So... The Chad dudes, yeah, they, women, if it's a high status guy, women would rather share a high status male than they would um, have commitment from like a loser. That's just the truth. 19. The one and only exception to this is if money is involved. Mm -hmm. Sub fives may be able to get a relationship with a woman by paying her, either directly yes. or indirectly. Normies may be able to get an equal relationship with a woman. As for chads, they don't need money, and it could even be possible that the woman finances the relationship in order to make it work and keep him around. 20. True. If the relationship comes to an end, a chad will have a lasting effect on the woman after they break up. She mm -hmm. will still remember him many months, if not years. They call it the alpha widow. It's after they fell apart. It's true. It's As real. As for normies... Those relationships are soon forgotten. Then for sub fives, they're not even counted as they can't get relationships in the first place. This is true. And in fact, there have been studies done, uh, scientific studies that show women are quicker to move on to a new mate um, more than men. And it's funny because, you know, there's this misperception about men that they're they're not they don't get as attached or that they don't have as much feeling or something or they're not as romantic as women. That's not true at all. It's the opposite. Men are far more romantic than women and they're far likely to get their hearts broken. Like the and this is from an evolutionary thing. If you've heard of like war brides and stuff women had to adapt to like changing situations like that where you know your tribe or whatever your 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 little tribe is invaded by another tribe and they take the women as their bounty and like now this is your your dude you have to be with this guy that probably just slaughtered your husband and maybe even your kids like it's a thing um so women have evolved to be e they're easier they're quick to move on to the next guy like they'll have heartbreak maybe for a little bit but it they move on really quickly you'll see how replaceable you are if you've experienced this so i think this is right 21 if a chad is high value enough this is talking about the top one percent now his partner may allow him to date multiple women at the same time in other words, allowing a one-way polygamous relationship. Yes. In contrast, normies cannot do this, and in fact, you often beg women to be in a relationship with them. Lastly, sub-fives don't even get relationships that they beg for. Right, they send for women online, they like pay for attention from e-girls. Now, I would say that normies don't have to beg for relationships. I think oftentimes they settle uh, for you know maybe not the best woman but to have a woman so I don't think that they're that they have to beg it depends on what their standards are I guess anyway those are the first 21 points and now I'm roughly halfway through the video if you've enjoyed what you've seen so far now is a good time to press the like button and leave any thoughts you have in the comments below as it helps the YouTube algorithm anyway carrying on to point 22 when a man is single, a chad will be able to set up and go on dates regularly. In contrast, normies yes. will get far less, and for the ones they do arrange, they'll often get flaked on. As for sub fives, they won't even get offers and instead True. face rejection on the spot if they ask for a date. Yeah. 23. 
game refers to the umbrella of social techniques a man can use to improve his chances when talking to women. It's a Yes, this is true. And, you know, like I said in the beginning, this can help, but it can only help so much. Game is not going to help a sub-5 man. If he tries to run game on a woman and he looks like he's a, th a 3 or below, he's going to get laughed at. Effectiveness can vary greatly at depending best. on who's using it. For a sub-5, it'll have no impact as he'll get rejected anyway. For a normie, it's a matter of fact a learning game can improve his dating life and mm -hmm. get him better results. Yes. Then for a chad, it may increase his results somewhat. But realistically, a chad doesn't need game as True. he can still get dating success without it. Yes. 24. This leads into my next point as chads will be able to attract women with their looks alone. Meanwhile, normies will often need a few other things going for them, mm -hmm. such as great social skills or several common interests with a girl. Yes. Then for sub fives, none of their extras will matter as they'll get rejected whatever they have. Yes. 25. To put it another way, normies can improve their dating life by following the principles of the red pill. Then for chads, despite how ridiculous it sounds, they can still have a good dating life even if they are blue pilled. Then for sub fives, their only option is to take the black pill. But I'm gonna say that the same thing goes for women. The normie women, they can learn how to self-improve. They can go to the gym. They can try to have other things going for them. But the girls who look like models, they can be dumb as a, you know, a brick wall. And they can still get, like, you know, dudes wanting to go after them. Um, but that's actually changing. I think that what we're really starting to see is that women that are like sixes and sevens, like normal chicks, normal girls that are nice and pleasant and agreeable, they're the new tens. These, these women that are looks-wise tens but are absolute ball-breaking bitches, men are like sick of putting up with their bullshit and their crazy behavior. It's like not worth it to them anymore. They recognize that they can get a more normie girl as maybe a six or a seven and they can mold her and you can fix her up. She can always lose weight. She can always learn how to make herself look pretty with her hair, maybe her makeup, her nails or something. Like you can improve that, but you cannot change character and personality. If somebody has an ugly personality, now you, you, there's nothing to work with there. Like there's no substance. Um, and then for the women who are like a... a I guess obese or something that would be like a three or under this is this applies to them too I would say this applies not just to men but to women also 26 chats will receive choosing signals from women which in essence is an indirect way for a girl to approach a man for example this may be a waitress resting her hand on a customer when he's about to pay just take a look at this tiktok it shows a good example of what I mean When you're waiting in queue and realize there's a hot guy behind you. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> True. So, as you saw by that clip, the woman made it easier for the chad to approach her. As for sub fives and normies, they will often be presented avoidance signals which show the woman doesn't want to speak with him. 27. When it comes to partner selection, chads have freedom of choice and little to no competition. This is because once a woman goes with a chad, she knows he's the best she will get. That's so true. So anyone else is an automatic downgrade. Mm -hmm. In contrast, for normies, the competition is fierce and they often compete with one another for the attention of women. Then for sub fives, almost embarrassingly, they compete with themselves to be a simp for a woman. 28. Yes. But I will say with the normies and how they're competing, it depends again on what kind of women they're going after. Women get frustrated when Chad doesn't text them of course. back. Meanwhile, it's the reverse for normies as women leave them on red for hours. Not true. It depends on the normie guy and how, how much she likes him, how much they have in common. Because like I said, women can fall in love with the normie guys depending on their personality, how charming and funny they are. Like I've... Well, I shouldn't say this. Should I say... Okay, so like they're... I... <laughs> 
I've had normie guys that I've been like totally in love with and if they did not like you know get back to me right away like I was fucking sneeding hard I would sneed and seethe so I've had that happen where like a normie dude has left me on red and I was so offended like women hate hate that like if you ignore a woman whew, that if you want to know how to drive a woman crazy ignore them then for sub fives <laughs> funnily enough they don't even have to worry about this issue as they will often get blocked of course of course 29 on online dating the only way normies Yo, can be somewhat Tinder successful swindler. is by posting high quality and high status photos yeah dude okay so i've done a video on simon levive um Shimon Hayut, his real name, the Tinder swindler. You guys have to watch it. Um, I didn't put the full thing up on my YouTube channel, but I do have part of it up with the link to the full video. You gotta watch that video because this dude is not attractive. He is not smart. He, he, when you listen to him talk, he sounds like he, I hate to say it, he sounds borderline retarded. But because of the pictures he was posting and the, the lifestyle he was presenting himself as, like the a diamond magnet, son of a diamond magnet billionaire, you know, jet setting, highfalutin dude, you had all these chicks chasing him because they wanted that bag. And, and because of his dark triad, a sociopathic personality there some of these girls are still in love with this dude even after he ripped them off for a quarter of a million dollars it's nuts great example of this is simon levy from the tinder swindler as for chads they can get away with mirror selfies and cringe photos True. and still get results then for sub fives all techniques will work just as bad as they all net zero matches True. 30 in high school Chads might be told, you're going to break a lot of hearts when you're older. Meanwhile, normies and sub fives will be told, I know you're going to make a girl very happy one day. 31. Another common occurrence in high school is chads will be gossiped about by the girls. Oh, they yeah. may say things like, I wonder who John has a crush on. I think he likes Alison. I wonder when he's going to ask her out. Meanwhile, if normies and sub fives try to enter the dating game in high school... They will be told to just focus on yourself for a while. Not always. Which, in essence, is only a polite way of keeping unwanted guys. That's not always true. I think that normie men actually have a, a, an easier time in high school because they have time to get to know girls and um, see what they have in common. And girls also are not as um, experienced, I guess. <laughs> Out of the dating market. 32. One caveat to this, though, for normies yes, is they may luck out once or twice at school with an attractive girlfriend, as she's yet to get a taste of chads. True. This is known as just be first theory. As for chads, they don't need to rely on this as they already have much dating success. Then for sub fives, besides having the luck of a lottery win, they can't rely on just be first as an option. 33. Another common problem in young men's dating lives is a girl may talk to normies and chads the exact same way. Mm -hmm. And when the chad fails to pick up on the signs, the girl will get frustrated because he's not made a move. However, when a normie does pick up on the signals and he makes his move, he is rejected, told there were no such indications and the girl was just being friendly. That doesn't always happen, but it does sometimes. That does happen sometimes. There are a lot of girls that will flirt with men just because they want attention and they like how it makes them feel when the man gives them validation. And then they they have zero interest of ever entering into a relationship with this dude or ever fucking him. So this is, this is true, but it's not always the case. Not always. 34. Chads will generally acquire more confidence and better social skills during their school years. This is due to them receiving better treatment and involvement from classmates. Possibly, but they also can turn into arrogant, egotistical assholes, and women don't like that either. Doesn't matter how hot you are, if you're a piece of shit or if you're an asshole, like, you're, you're not worth it. And this is known as positive reinforcement theory. In contrast, sub fives are more likely to be shy and timid as they get excluded more often. This is known as negative reinforcement theory. 
35, moving past high school age, chads will continue to dominate the dating market in their early to mid 20s. However, normies may be able to catch up and have their season in the sun after 30 if they've built great wealth and resources. Yes. As for sub fives, they never get a season in the sun, no matter how much they accomplish. Probably. 36, when a man asks a woman about his looks, sub fives will be told, it's not your looks, it's your personality that's the problem. You should work on that first. <laughs> normies will be told, you're just not my type. I'm not the right girl for you, but don't worry, you'll find one someday. Aww. Chads will be told, you can get any girl you want. There's nothing for you to worry about. 37. A common bias against sub fives is their positive qualities will be seen as negatives. For example, confidence will be seen as arrogance. For chads, the reverse is true. Their negatives can be seen as positives. For example, a lack of confidence may be seen as mysterious. Yes. For normies, they are the only group that has a matching of their qualities to their reception. That's a good point. Normies and sub fives will think of any reason to explain why a Chad got the girl and not him. That's any reason besides looks. He might say something like, Chad just got there first. My girl will soon realise I'm the man who really cares and then she'll break <laughs> up with Chad and choose me instead. 39. Chads can get good results in either online, cold or warm approach. Normies can get results in warm approach and very occasionally cold approach. However, online is not an option for them. That's and not true. And for sub fives, they get no results in any approach. That is 40. true. Finally, to sum up the entire video, women break rules for chads yes. and make rules for normies and yes. sub fives. So if you're <laughs> currently dealing with a woman and everything feels like a compromise, I could make a safe bet that she doesn't have burning desire for you. Anyway, that's it for the 40 points. And if you'd like to know where you yourself stand, then be sure to check out my Fiverr page where I provide face ratings and analysis. I have over 1700 reviews, the majority five stars. The prices are the same as always. And I it is super, super interesting. I will say that, um, you know, as a woman watching that, I actually think that that's not too black pilled. I think that in a way, Mr. Wheat Waffles here is simply being realistic. And I think that he was absolutely right about a lot of what he said. The only thing that I would differ on was some of the stuff he was saying about normie men. Um, normie men can do very well for themselves. They just have to have like the time. To, they have to be able to get the, to know a woman, I suppose. Um, but generally speaking, uh, for modern women today, yeah, I mean, that's pretty, it's pretty spot on. I would say it's pretty accurate. So anyways, um, let me know your thoughts. <laughs> what did you think about that? Do you find it depressing, um, black pilling or just like realistic? Whee!